Welcome to the first episode of the Collection to Glory, which is the new Road to Glory I'm currently going to be having in the future. Uh, and we are going to find out by playing Sawyer, as it is actually meant to be, to collect players from the same team. Can you profit and can you make money by doing that? And also I will explain uh, everything about the, rule, about the rules, I mean. Uh, but also I want to put out there that I'm also going to having tournaments every single 10th episode of the Road to Glory or the Collection to Glory we are going to take a lot of the prize pool money and take it into tournaments and the only thing you need to do is to subscribe and like every single um, Road to Glory video that is going to be one of the only free to play tournaments I'm currently hosting in the future because as you probably know uh, I have currently opened the membership opportunity where of course tournaments will uh, there will be member specific tournaments, but if you want to go more in depth about that, just watch yesterday's videos because I talk a lot about them there. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into the Road to Glory and closer about the rules or the Collection to Glory, whatever you want to call it. And like, we can firstly scroll over to the spreadsheet. And here we can see the different collections I have gone for. I will firstly go briefly through them. Because in the rules we need to have five different collections. And we can only buy from those collections plus five other players. And also five other players that is in my gallery already that we can use to help us in uh, some game weeks where for example don't have a striker. Um, and the first collection I went for was Newcastle. And the, I can just switch over here again and we can see uh, that um, I have 22 cards from the Newcastle collection. That is incredible in terms of uh, how fast I've uh, gone or gone out and bought them. Just uh, saying it's simple because um, I got most of these players before the big Sawyer announcement update. So I got them for a pretty fair price in terms of how they are now and also in terms of the new Premier League competition, so I got a little bit lucky there, I'm not going to lie. And yeah, we have bought most of the players, and the reasoning for me doing this is because Newcastle is a team that has a lot of potential when it comes to football. We saw how good Eddie Howe was last season. Uh, they have a lot of injuries. When injury players come back, and I think uh, those players could help them uh, perform even better, because now, they, I think they have a pretty strong team at the moment, with Louis Miley is a player I really like and fancy. And also Longstaff has been good recently, and also Bruno Guimares. But with players like Joe Linton coming back, uh, Tonali coming back from that uh, ban he is currently serving, I think this team uh, is a very very strong team in general, and they have some incredible SO5 scorers. And that is one of the main reasons for me going for Newcastle, and also because they don't have a midweek utility. That will result in, uh, it will be much easier to predict who is going to play. And uh, players like Trippier is AA Beasts, uh, players like, um, uh, if we scroll down, Fabian Schaar can be very very good, and also uh, players like uh, Bruno Guimarães, Alexander Isak, Anthony Gorn. If they beat the team 4-0, I can uh, climb up that leaderboard. And when we go back to the spreadsheet, we can see, I can take this on full screen, I don't know why, I'd... there we go. Um, I have currently uh, spent 201 euros on uh, the Newcastle collection, and that is the first, one out of five. And the next one is going to be Stuttgart. And like, here are another reasoning for, uh, like, as I said, I need players that score highly, um, players like that they are consistent, like very, very simply stated there. Um, and that is something I really like about um, Newcastle, because when they smash a team, uh, most likely there are going to be multiple players with very, very good scores, but we have seen, for example, with Manchester United, that uh, doesn't always happen, and other teams that isn't as dominant when they first are dominant, if that makes sense. And Stuttgart are one of those examples when I think they are like, they are right behind Bayern München and Leverkusen in terms of the table and also in terms of their performances. So they aren't as known as uh, them, so they are a little bit undervalued in my opinion. Uh, and that is also why I went for them. Um, uh, we have bought 20 out of 27 cards. Uh, and uh, yeah, the only left we really want is Mittelstad and uh, Wagnumann. 
And also Dennis Undav, I really really want him, but he is currently having a little bit of injury, which isn't the best. So, um, uh, and also I picked up this Gurase card, this looks so clean, I'm so happy I got him for a pretty fair price in my opinion. And the rest of the team looks uh, very very good, and like the standout players here for Stuttgart will probably be Gurase, Fyrish, uh, it will also be, where is he, uh, Enzo Milut will be very interesting, Rulot, uh, Ito, Angelo Stiller and also uh, Valdemar Anton, which is players I expect a lot from in the future. And uh, if we go back to uh, the spreadsheet, we can see that we have spent 141 euros. And I think that is just incredible. Of course, we have Undav left to purchase, which is about 40 euros, but still, I think uh, in terms of how many we have collected, I think we have uh, came out of it very, very good. Uh, and uh, the next one is going to be Brest, Stade Brest. So, if you see how this is going, I'm going to be going for one collection for each uh, league, the top five leagues, uh, if you haven't noticed that already. That is the pattern we are currently following. And this is another team, a large Stuttgart, that are right behind PSG, the most dominant team that is worth so much on Sorrer. And those are like right behind, and I really like that because the prices inflect on that, so it isn't that expensive. And here we have 19 out, I mean 17 out of 19 cards, only two cards left. And those are two players that I don't really fancy in terms of SO5 scores. So uh, we are uh, almost finished, and in terms of uh, the percentage, we will most likely only get the 4% collection mark. Uh, but that's okay, we don't need the 5% of every collection. Uh, and uh, yeah, those uh, in terms of uh, players, they also have some smashes. Uh, uh, Marco Bisut, incredible scorer, Bradley Loco, Lilian Brasier, Chardonnay, Kenny Lala, all the four defenders are just incredible in my opinion. In terms of midfielders, we have of course Pierre Limelou. And the rest of the team isn't that strong in terms of SO5 scorers, uh, besides uh, Roman del Castello, but in terms of the attackers, this is probably uh, the biggest weakness in this uh, collection, is the attackers. But the biggest upside is the price. 120 euros for this uh, team, and uh, the collection is almost finished, so that is just fantastic in my opinion. Very, some very, very hidden gems there, under 23 players as well. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to play with them. And the next one, uh, you probably see which kit that I'm wearing, the Real Sociedad one. I really like Real Sociedad. Uh, they haven't been performing as I expected them to do this season. But that is also why I've gone for them, because the price uh, reflects on that. And I've almost finished it and under five or five cards. <laughs> Not under, but five cards left on the collection. And... Uh, like the thing with Real Sociedad, they don't have, in terms of attackers, they don't have any smashes, but uh, that smashes it, if you know what I mean, in terms of SO5 scores. Uh, but they have incredible defense. That is the thing I lo uh, love, I mean. And when they have, uh, they also have Champions League utility. And with Real Sociedad, I want that because um, I want to have like a solid defense where I can partner up with uh, the other collections where I have strong attacks. Uh, and uh, yeah, in terms of the keeper, Alex Ramiro will probably be nailed for uh, the couple of next years. Very, very glad that I got him so early. Um, and also, they don't have any, like in terms of uh, very, very high scorers, but they have someone. Uh, I really like, where is he? Uh, Subeldia, I really like him. And I really like Bryce Mendes where he, when he is on form. And I also like Baren Texa, Uyara Sabal. But this team is more like a defensive stack team. I don't uh, expect much from them in terms of um, like bringing those podium places. This is a team that I went for because it was on a budget. Like 94 euros spent and I only have 5 players left. That is just incredible, and that also reflects their performances this season, unfortunately, but still. Um, and yeah, the last one will be Bologna, which I'm incredibly excited to um, make a collection for, because in Serie A, if you're going to buy some, someone from the auction, you need to buy bundles, and that is way hard, because if you already have a player already in your collection, uh, like, 
you get one extra of that player and yeah that could be a little confusing sometimes because I need to go through the gallery and then go back to check that every player that is on the auction bundle that I don't have any of those in my own gallery at the moment and I have gone on a mistake bought two Bagnolini but I'm trying to sell them right now uh, but we have Skorupsi, uh, Frederico Ravaglia uh, and uh, those two are probably the players that I like the most in this gallery besides players like Remo Freuler, uh, Ricardo Cal Calafiori, he's just an incredible as a five scorer uh, John Lukumi, if he gets a starter spot back I think he will be incredible Louis Ferguson uh, and here we have some attackers that I really really like like, like with Bologna the attackers is uh, the thing that like um, drawn me into making this decision Ursulini, Xerxes, Jesper Carlsson also done and Duye four players that not they don't have too much uh, starter time uh, or uh, Sirixi or what his name is he is a nail starter Ursulini is uh, like here and there he may start or he may get benched but Jesper Carlsson and Dan Andoya are also players that are a bit in and out which is okay but they have very strong attackers in terms of the future in terms of how good they really are so I'm really really blessed with that and here is actually the collection I haven't like been close to finish uh, 17 cards out of 26 and we have spent 148 uh, okay so that is um, that is really, like it's going to cost to finish this collection uh, and uh, let's look at the extra players we have bought and that is Ramon Juan a goalkeeper from uh, Cartagena or I think no Mirandes the goalkeeper from Mirandes we can take a look at him because he is pretty interesting because I needed an under 23 keeper and Ramon Juan is one of the most underrated goalkeepers in my opinion uh, under 23 goalkeepers at least uh, we can go into him and just yeah look like look at his course it's incredible and that's why I went for him uh, very very happy with the price as well uh, so he is one of the five extra players we have bought and if we are going to remove some players or for example buy a new player for this extra we need to sell one of them so here is also uh, some of you guys could help me with new purchases those two under here we haven't filled the spot if you see it on the screen right now so here i can actually need your help and uh, the next uh, is another goalkeeper neto and that is for the premier league special weekly and as we can see i think he has also go also gone down a little bit in price yeah he has gone up 10 euros so that's decent uh, he should be pretty nailed for Bournemouth, so he is one of the extra goalkeepers I have went for, uh, or the extra players. And the next one is Dwight McNeil. And that is also because of the Premier League special. Special, uh, Premier League special, I think. No, it's not this special anymore, but the Premier League competition, I mean. He has been around the same price as I bought him for, so that is nice. And also, in terms of player, I have already from my gallery. We have Josh Sargent, Kiefer Moore, Montasar Talbi, Stefan Savic and also Silvio Romero. And yeah, let's go through the lineups. And um, yeah, here we have the PL In Season Limited, uh, where we have gone pretty strong with Dwight McNeil, actually one of the players we purchased, extra players. And that is most likely for uh, most, I mean, because the future, not uh, for this game week in specific. Um, Away against uh, Manchester City, I think he still will perform actually. Uh, and Neto in goal against Fulham, I think he will play. Uh, I got a little, yeah, he's 100% here as well, very nice. And then we have like the backup players, uh, Sven Butman, Louis Smiley and Stern C... I can't pronounce that name, Longstaff, I will just call him that. And the reason for that team not looking too great is because the best players is of course in here with a full Newcastle stack, which will be just incredible to see right now. Uh, hopefully they perform. Uh, yeah, uh, like of course Callum Wilson. I'm a little bit worried if he's going to play or not, but hopefully he does. Uh, and this team I have very, very high expectations of and hopefully that can bring me some rewards in the PL in season limited. And also the French League Specialist uh, throwaway lineup. And here yeah, I actually use the player that I already have in my gallery, which is Muntasar Talbi. That is just so I can be able to play the French League Specialist, so that is one of the five I have used there. This team also I don't expect too much from because of the rotation risk with both of these three players. Um, and yeah, we also have the La Liga Specialist. Now most of the throwaway lineups are coming up first. Um, 
And yeah, this is um, talking about throwaway lineups. This is such a big throwaway lineup. I don't expect any of those three to play. So I just put uh, Stefan Savic in there as one of the extra players I already have in my gallery, just so I could put this team out there. And the next one is one of my priority lineups, and I'm so excited for this one. Uh, and that is Champion Europe. We have Skorupsi with Skorupski, I mean with Kala Fiori. Um, like he's such a good scorer, Kala Fiori. And we also have Fyrish. We have my camera got turned off again. I don't know what is happening to my camera recently, but uh, yeah, we're recording nice. And uh, that is also if you want to become a member, <laughs> like. I could buy a better camera, but uh, yeah, watch yesterday's videos if you even consider doing it. Uh, but yeah, I have very, very high expectations for this. Hopefully, Pierre Lee Melou plays, and Cirque, uh hopefully, he can get a decisive. Every single match is going to be played on Sunday when this video is out, so uh, it will be very, very interesting. And then the next one is Under 23 Limited, which also is a team that could bang. Um, there we have the extra player that I purchased, Ramon Juan, and also the extra player in the gallery, Josh Sargent. We also have Bradley Luco that I'm not sure if he's even going to start, but if he does, this team can perform very well because we have Angelo Stiller and Enzo Milut, which are two players that I think will perform very, very good. And also hopefully Josh Sargent play, but this is a team that could do very well. And Cap240 Limited is the next one, and here we also have the extra player from the gallery, Kiefer Moore, which is just nice that he starts at least. And uh, this team in general is a little bit of a throwaway lineup, because I'm not sure if Roman Del Castello is going to play, and if Dan Byrne is going to play. But besides that, I think this team is also pretty strong if everyone starts. Stefan Push hopefully does well. And also, one thing to keep in mind is that, is that Alexander Nubel, has currently a head injury, I think, because he had this head against the post. So I'm not sure if he's going to play. So that is why I uh, took him in here uh, as a throwaway-ish kind of thing. Um, yeah, the next one is going to be Cap 270 Limited. And this is a team that either could do very, very badly or do extremely well. And I, when I say extremely, I mean extremely well, because if like, I expect Marco Bisu to play, I expect John Pacheco to play, and also Kenny Lala and Atakan Karasur. But Gurassi is the biggest doubt ever. He's like 40-60, 40% to start, 60% to be benched. If he can come on from the bench and get a decisive, or just start and do well, this team can, could do extremely, extremely well. So uh, this is one to look at for sure. Um, and this I'm very, very excited about. I just hope that John Pacheco starts. And this is uh, the cap to 20 line, actually. Looking pretty strong. Uh, the only big downside here is Rolo, uh, that will most likely not play. Uh, I think Ito will take his place. And he, he has also broken his nose, so uh, it doesn't look too great there. Uh, but if everyone plays, starts, I mean, this could be a pretty decent lineup. And also, Silvio Romero is one of the extra players that I already have in my gallery. <clears throat> and let's move on to uh, also a team that this is a little bit unfortunate because this is such a high risk for me. <clears throat> like if Alex Remiro and Chardonnay and Subelia plays, this team could win All-Star. And of course I expect Alex Remiro to play, I expect Chardonnay to play, but Subelia, he is 50-50. Like he is completely 50-50. So like, this could be stupid of me, but I think if Alex Miro and Subelia starts, they will both have 70 plus scores. And then it's just up to Lewis Ferguson and Ricardo Ursulini. And you probably uh, like understand that I'm ta taking a lot of risks this weekend, because like in every single lineup there are one or two doubts. But I think if I'm lucky, or and if everything works together, this could be a huge game week. I just hope that Subeldia starts. And I think that is it. Yeah, that is it for the lineups. Um, I have very, very high expectations. Um, and uh, yeah, it will be incredible to finally be back on the limited grind when it comes to the Road to Glory or the Collection to Glory. Um, yeah, like leave in the comments which new players should I sign. And I think it will be very fun to just follow through the teams and uh, analyze um, like how my galleries or, or how my collections work together, how to um, like 
place her as it means to be and I think that is a fantastic concept. Remember uh, to subscribe and like every single video if you want to be part of the tournament that will be every 10 days. Or not every 10 days but every 10 episode I make of the uh, uh, Collection to Glory. And also remember to check out yesterday's videos if you want to become a member. That would be much appreciated but that is it I think for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.